G'day, it's Bob here again. Um, for those of you who don't know, I designed the original Dick Smith Electronics ESR meter back in 1995. It evolved into the blue ESR meter in about 2004. Um, I figured it's time we really updated the design. That one's getting pretty old and it's using old components. So what we got here is what I call the Blue 2 ESR meter. This one functions pretty much the same, however it's in a smaller case. That one's about 4 inches tall. This one runs on AA cells, which can be rechargeable types. It's got the same protection to about 50 volts as the Blue 2, uh, sorry, the Blue meter. Um, and it's got single push button control like that looks pretty much the same as the blue meter except it's smaller uh, it measures this one measures down to 0.001 ohms up to 99 ohms the same as the other one uh, what else it's got automatic switch off after five minutes of no use it's got a low battery warning and um, unlike certain unnamed Chinese ESR meters, this one's got nice long leads. It doesn't have any great restriction on the length of leads it's got. And it needs no zeroing. So you short the tips together and there it is. It's reading 0 0.000 ohms. The two decimal points are necessary to show that it's measuring milliohms. I hope that's not confusing to people. Uh, because there's only two, space for two digits. Uh, apart from all those things, really it functions the same as most other ESR meters. We'll just show you a few capacitors just to prove it really does work. <laughs> Very low ESR one here, which is 22 milliohms. And that one's 110 milliohms. Um, all right, that's the base model meter. That's basically what it does. Single push button control, so you switch it off by pushing the button. However, it's got a a big brother or big sister, depending on your point of view, which I will now show. And here it is the big brother of the one I just showed you. Looks much the same, doesn't it? Switch it on, does the same thing, but it's got a, a grill here. And this one talks. This one will read out the values to experienced technicians who know what are good and bad values without always looking at the chart. It's also good for tracing short circuits and things on circuit boards where it'll show the track resistance easily and you don't need to keep looking at it. So it, uh, I'll give a demo. Point zero two three. There it is, measuring the ESR of these different capacitors and saying it. Point six four. Point one one. Two point nine. You may or may not recognise the voice coming out of it, but that can be changed for something a bit more tolerable if necessary. Okay, as usual, thanks for watching the video. Hope it's been educational to you. Oh, I forgot to tell you. You can change the volume. Four. One, two, three, four. And apart from that, you switch it off by pushing the button. So thanks again for watching it, and see you next time. Bye.